Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers, coming to you from Selva Negra, Nicaragua. And in this video, we'll get back to nature up in the mountains with a visit to the Selva Negra Organic Farm and Eco Lodge. We found ourselves living in Nicaragua throughout 2020 due to the COVID pandemic. In 2021, we finally resumed our travels to uncover the vast beauty of Nicaragua. We'll be uploading a new video each week. So to get more great travel inspiration, don't forget to subscribe. Selva Negra is situated in the northern highlands of Nicaragua between the cities of Matagalpa and Hinotega. We took a 20 minute bus ride from the south bus terminal in Matagalpa and were dropped off around 200 metres before the entrance to the farm. Bear in mind that you still have a nearly two kilometre walk ahead of you before you get to the Eco Lodge. We're here at a bus stop that's probably about two kilometres away from Selva Negra, so we've got a bit of walking to do. Well, we were going to walk one and a half kilometres, but thankfully we managed to get a ride on the back of a ute. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Luckily for us, Jose, the Selva Negra tour manager, just happened to be at the entrance when we arrived. We've just arrived at Selva Negra and it is absolutely gorgeous. Our room overlooks this lake and there's all these geese around, which is really cute. These geese certainly ruled the roost around here and they made that very clear. Goose just chase John away. <laughs> Nicaragua just continues to surprise and delight me. This area is a beautiful lakeside area. It's up in the hills and it has the feel of being in Europe, not Nicaragua. But here you are. Nicaragua just has so much to offer and so many different climates. So it's the architecture like this, the landscaping and the flowers that really reminds me of Europe. Selva Negra was originally the first coffee plantation in the area, introduced by German immigrants in the late 1800s and called La Harmonia or Hamburg. The Selva Negra Eco Lodge was first built in 1975 by descendants Eddie Kuhl and Mousy Hain, and in the subsequent years they have greatly diversified the activities of the farm. We had the opportunity to meet Mousy by chance and had a lovely conversation with her about sustainability on the property. More about this in our next video where we take you on a tour of the farm. Another thing that makes Selva Negra quite unique is that in the shade it gets really cool. So it would be in the low 20s degrees Celsius or uh, 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a real pleasant change to be honest. I think the only thing that gives away that you're in Nicaragua is the sound of howler monkeys in the distance. You have a number of choices for accommodation. We chose the hotel style rooms overlooking the lake. Welcome to Selva Negra. Please come inside. And this was $55 per night plus tax. You can also rent out more spacious cabins for $90 US a night. Breakfast wasn't included in these rates, but was reasonably priced at around five to six US dollars, depending on the option. We're having some breakfast at the restaurant here in Selva Negra, and we're starting with some coffee, which has been grown here on the finca or the estate. This coffee is amazing. Mm. It's just so good that yeah, we can, we can have coffee that's sourced from the same property. So, you know, food miles are zero. Yeah. On our breakfast menu today, we have the Americano breakfast, which is bacon and eggs and some toast with some watermelon. And then we've also got the, the German breakfast. So this is some potato and bacon, eggs, and also toast. Now, the cool thing about Selva Negra is that they source the majority of all their produce from their farm. So the bacon is from the pigs that they grow on the farm, 
as well as the, the eggs and the coffee. And it's really cool. Silva Negra are also big on their COVID protocols. They've set up all these uh, washing stations all around the lake here, uh, so you can wash your hands. You have to wear masks inside the buildings at all times as well, so it gives us peace of mind. You don't need to stay at Silva Negra to enjoy what the Eco Lodge has on offer. It is a popular day trip destination for locals on weekends, and there are many activities to enjoy. There are 14 different hiking trails that you can explore around the Eco Lodge that will take you up into the cloud forest. There's all these beautiful paths to walk on. The one that I'm on at the moment takes you all around the lake. There are a number of different tours that you can take as well, including a coffee tour, night walk and farm tour. The cost of the tours range from $5 to $10 US per person. There is so much to do here that we can't fit it all into one video. Stay tuned for next week's video where we share all the fun activities we got up to at Selva Negra. Our main meals come out with a side of salad. What I love about this is the quail egg that you get. I'm pretty sure that's coloured pink. I don't think that's natural, but it's, it's very cute. And we saw the actual quails that get used for the quail eggs in the farm earlier today. Get two pieces, this is good. What piece to get into? It's basically crumbed pork. Mm. And potato salad is quite interesting. I think there's this burst of citrus in it as well, which I wasn't, I wasn't expecting. And there's parsley in it as well. It's quite buttery too. It's really nice. Mm. Right. My dish is pollo de abuela or grandma's chicken. So it comes with mushroom and bacon on top and we've got a side of rice and vegetables. And yeah, these serving sizes are so hearty and it's really good that they come with a, a side salad as well. So we're getting our vegetable content in. Mm. Oh yeah. It seems like the chicken's got a bit of a glaze to it. Mushroom and bacon are some two things that you don't often get in Nicaragua because they're quite expensive and rare. Uh, so yeah, it's a real treat to have these things. Yeah, this is, this is a really good meal. The food here has been phenomenal. So yeah, definitely make sure you have a meal when you're in Silver Negra. It's really good being able to see where your produce comes from. So we actually probably met the chickens that have graced us with the meal tonight. So thank you to the chickens. It's just wonderful being able to come to a place that has all of its produce pretty much grown on site. And we've also got some chili sauce, which is from here as well. So I'm looking forward to trying this out as well. In our next video, we'll be taking you on a farm tour of Selva Negra. If you want to see more Nicaragua travel adventures, don't forget to subscribe. We are Bucket List Travelers. See you next time.